today I'm going to show you how to make one of these. I call them a rocket. When I was very young I was shown how to make these and I've never come across them anywhere so I'm going to share my secret with you but be very careful because these are dangerous. The first step is to get a nice straight piece of pine and I find old pine pellets do the job quite well. So first step is to cut a piece of wood. The piece of pine I just cut off the pallet is about 500 mils long and that's perfect for what we are about to do. The next step is to split my piece of pine. I actually like to use an axe, it's just like uh, cutting kindling wood for the fire. That worked well, that's a nice straight piece of pine, so now I'll just whittle that down and move on to the next step. So we've got our nice piece of wood, the next step is to whittle it. I've got this old meat cleaver, I'm going to do a bit of whittling, try and get it as round as I can get it and as smooth as I can get it, um, and then we progress from there with the making of our rocket. I've been whittling for 30 seconds or so and already you can see the wood starting to take a, a nice shape. Next step is to cut out the flights for the rocket. Uh, you need a light cardboard and I'm using a an old Pepsi Max box and on the back I've marked out two squares 70mm by 70mm and I've got my two bits of cardboard and I'll do one more cut so I can join the two bits together to make the flight. We've split the, the rocket now, and the next step is to insert the flight by just sliding it into the split. Here we have the finished product, and to launch it we use a piece of string with a knot on the end. We place the string around a notch in the stick, we have a notch, and hook it on the knot wrap it around fingers and it's the Woomera principle we're ready to go now. Next step is to take our rocket over to an oval where it's very safe and no people and have a test flight. 